Hey, good morning, everyone. We are less than 12 hours away from game one of the Stanley Cup final at Ball Arena. It is an exciting day for Avs fans across Colorado. And today on 9 News Mornings, Corey and Gary are getting us game day ready at the arena. Hey, guys, it's going to be a party across town. Boy, is that true. A We're lot dressed of for a party, right? That's right. We had to get our sweaters on. Very exciting. So again, game one tonight right here at Ball Arena. Puck drop at 6 o'clock. And you can just feel the buzz, the vibe. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so exciting. We were talking earlier. Ed, it's been a long time since Denver's had this experience. You know, probably 2015 Broncos was the last time people were just jacked up to win a win a championship. Sure. And, and so it's going to be great the next two weeks. There's going to be a buzz around town. The series is going to be great, too. Undoubtedly, the two best teams and the NHL are going to be playing for the Stanley Cup. And it's going to be interesting because this will be the third time ever that the Avalanche has gone for the Cup. And it's been a long time. It's been 21 years since the last one, right? The Lightning, a little different story. This is their third straight mm -hmm. Tampa mm -hmm. advantage for the uh, Cup. They've won the last two years, and they're going for that three-peat. They're Ew. going for the dynasty. So it's going to be the... Tampa Bay Lightning experience, playoff experience, I guess, against the Avalanche talent. That's the way the uh, experts have seen it all year. The Avalanche have been the odds on favor to win the cup all year, and they still are. So the puck drops 6 o'clock tonight, and we'll quit talking about it and just start watching and yelling, I guess. Yeah, oh, you got it. You got to scream really <laughs> loudly. Isn't that, though, interesting that they've said that the Avs are kind of the, the one to beat, yet mm -hmm. at the same time, Lightning are going for a three-peat, and they're the underdog. You know, you mentioned it a couple of weeks ago. You said, you know, you came to an Avs game and watched these guys, and then you watched that that series, uh, the last series that Tampa Rangers, was in yeah. with the Rangers, and, and they looked like they were skating so slow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. You know, our shots and goal have been really high. And then additionally, um, you know, we just look so fast. We've got so much depth. It's been so fun to watch. And we want to know, where are you watching game one? Are you going to be here at Ball Arena? You're paying out the big money. Are you going to be at one of the watch parties at Tivoli or at McGregor Square? Are you watching from home? Let us know. 9news.com slash vote now. All right. Let's get so, a check the forecast. I'm in my big comfy office chair. Yes. That's where I'm watching the game from. That's right. With a beverage of my choice, of course. Hey, let's go outside, take a look at what we've got going on right now. Sunshine, blue skies, pretty nice morning around here. 54 degrees right now. We had a little bit of storm them right over northeastern Colorado with lightning and thunder, and now they're gone. And we will see border to border sunshine by afternoon, tomorrow afternoon into the evening. Maybe a late day shower or thunderstorm. That's going to be about it. It's in your forecast. 87 degrees today, just fair and breezy. Tomorrow, 92 degrees. We'll had an isolated storm. Look at your Friday, 97 degrees with an isolated storm and starting your weekend off with 94 degrees on Saturday and scattered storms. And welcome back to Ball Arena. The puck drops 6 o'clock tonight, and that's when it all starts. Oh, so it has been a long time, as you were saying at the top of the show, since we have had this. The last time the Colorado Avalanche were in the Stanley Cup Finals was in 2001, and a lot has changed in 21 years. So let's take a look back. The city of okay. Centennial, where the Avalanche practiced, had just become a city. And the arena where the Avs play two years ago was just named for the drink Pepsi Center. Now it's named for the cup the drink goes in. Yeah, right. Ball Arena. <laughs> and this one's going to hurt. The median home price in the state that year was about $160,000, $67,000. Big difference now. Gas prices started with a one back in <laughs> 2001. Of course they did. Wow, they started yeah. with like a five now. And Lady Marmalade was number one on the charts. <laughs> and what's so sad is Scotty Gange is out here and he's Who's like, Lady what Marmalade? is that? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> 2001. Was Corey Rose born in 2001? You're so sweet. I love you, Bear Bear. <laughs> I, just, gosh, I was a baby. That was a long time ago. All right. Yeah, I was a baby too. <laughs> Right. Uh, anyway, uh, John, uh, John is inside and we're going to send it in to him. And I understand he has found a friend in there, John. We did. We found the man of the hour, Bernie. He's here hours before game time, getting everybody fired up. He's been running around the rink doing laps. They got the Zamboni out already here today. The ice is scraped, ready for the pregame skates. Bernie, how are you going to get this crowd riled up? Or do you even need to get the crowd riled up at this point? No. Now, you're just going to be there making sure that there's no Tampa Bay fans here in the house, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It is going to be so electric in here. 20,000 fans expected inside Ball Arena for game one between the Colorado Avalanche and Tampa Bay Lightning. And then 
Another 20,000 fans outside at Tivoli Brewing just steps away here from Ball Arena with the watch party. It's going to be exciting. Are you going to be inside and outside? Or are you sticking right here at the game? Oh, well, he's going to be back and forth. So, hey, if you're going down to Tivoli Brewery, you can check out Bernie and see how everything's going to be going down here. He's going to get you fired up. If, or he might even take off the Tampa Bay jerseys if you're wearing one of those. Hopefully you're not. Uh, but this is going to be a showdown. We've got the two best teams in the NHL, Tampa Bay versus Colorado. They have so much firepower. Kale McCarr, you've got Nathan McKinnon, Landis Gog. Who's your favorite? Are you? Oh, yeah, exactly. All of them are good. And then on the other side, Andre Vasileski and Nett. We, but you know what? what? We can score, right? We can beat that guy yeah pff, no problem there abs are going to figure it out game time six o'clock here from ball arena it's going to be loud in here bernie i'm ready we're ready let's fire up the crowd and get them going here guys we'll send her back outside to you guys Woo! go abs baby <laughs> we can't see john but i have a feeling he has a pom-pom in his hand yeah I probably don't know. I don't yeah know. <laughs> yeah well he's with our favorite saint bernard so you know oh yeah and yeah, bernie's such an easy interview yep so of course it is going to be so loud inside ball arena but people are going to be watching from all over of course that includes in tampa bay I'm Jenny Dean in Tampa. You guys in Denver may have games one and two in your packed arena, but thousands of fans will be here in Amelie Arena tonight to watch the game on the big screen. And there will be a storm brewing, a distant thunder with lots of lightning happening right here inside the arena. And of course, if you need a reminder of just how good we are, all you gotta do is look up at the banners. Three Stanley Cup championships, two in the past two years, and we are ready to see Stanley come back to Tampa for a fourth time. Wow, it is good to be a sports fan in Champa Bay. Good luck, Avalanche. You'll need it. Yeah, yeah, I don't like yeah, her. yeah. I don't yeah. Like her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're asking you, where are you going to watch the game? You can go on to 9news.com slash vote now and weigh in. We're asking you, are you watching it from home? Are you going to be at Ball Arena? You're paying out that big money. Are you watching from one of those watch parties at Tivoli or McGregor Square, or one of the many bars that are um, going to be open tonight for these watch parties? The majority of people saying they're watching from home. The second one on there is you're not watching, which like breaks my heart. 20 some percent. Well, you know, people have other things to do, I guess. I mean, I guess. I, guess. I don't know. You know, I can't imagine not watching. But uh, luckily, it starts at 6 o'clock. As a matter of fact, all the games in this series, whether they're in Tampa or Denver, are going to start at yes. 6 o'clock. So that's good for us early. Yeah, we go to I bed got early. guys that go to bed <laughs> yeah. early anyway. All right, we're going to send it back to you. But we have lots more plans. Scotty Gange is going to join us in just a little bit.